Yeah, hello and welcome to this video playing Don Fulgencio. Okay, that's not... Oh, I played him before. That's uh, surprising. Don't remember the name. Mm, I don't want it. Don't, don't, don't have any recollection. Okay, took on C6. That is an early, an early capture there. It's not completely uncommon for that to, to happen, but usually only after um, a6 played by black. And d5 is certainly the most natural move. Looks a bit like a French defense, which is not good <laughs> for me. I have, I have my issues there, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, this is how they usually play this kind of this kind of line it's normally again with the pawn on a6 here I don't have it on a6 so I can play a5 in one go okay well that cannot be bad if I can get rid of the a pawn hmm And now we close it down. Interesting. Okay, I'll go to d7. There's no other choice, really. Yeah, I should be okay here, right? I mean, bishop a6 is probably almost impossible to prevent. And if I can get rid of that bishop, I should be okay. Maybe he's playing rook e1, bishop a6, bishop c2, something like that. Yeah. I think that's probably the way to do it. Maybe I should have thought about that. But okay, where where else? Yeah? Where else is the is the bishop supposed to go? Really not clear. If there is a different square that makes any any sense. Okay, so the queen will probably jump out here to g4 or h5, <coughs> and the rook will come to e3. That is probably the idea. Yeah. Try to prevent that at least. Queen to b6. Maybe next. Yeah, it's going to probably place a piece on d4. If I play queen to b6, is there the sacrifice? Sacrifice on h7. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Not entirely certain, but it looks like it. six keep the pressure on that ah, he's got rookie three now anyway oh that is not good yeah or this one Maybe I need some counter play with rook a2 here. And if, if he if he trades rooks, I have knight f8 as a potential defender. I'm scared anyway here. Yeah? That looks it looks dangerous really. 
And uh, again, it has this uncanny <laughs> resemblance to a French defense <laughs> where I always get checkmated. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So let's do this. Threatening rook b2. And if he moves the bishop, I can take on c2. As on f2, I've got a tactic here. The bishop is on on that. So this is actually not so easy to answer. I'm not sure what his move is now. I think he probably overlooked something there. Yeah, He, he doesn't have a really good move now. Bishop c1, maybe. No, then d4 drops. d4 drops. He he has this threat on h6. It's still maybe the move he is going to play. No. Okay. So here, what am I doing now? I take on d4, this bishop takes. Queen takes b4. Queen takes before. Yeah, what is he doing then? He cannot. B two is attacked. Yeah, and rook a bishop a one. I have rook. I've got rook takes a one. Okay. Rook takes before. That's made on e one. Okay, bishop takes d4, threatens the rook, and are threatening bishop takes f2. He has queen h4, probably. Yeah, so I'll take with the queen. Uh, I, I checked this, and he has no rook a7, which is important, so put it here. Yeah, I'm very I'm nicely coordinated here. I have no idea. I didn't like the position, but all of a sudden I had this counterplay. Maybe I'm just um, overly concerned, yeah, with with the structures because I'm I have I got checkmated so often in the French that I tend to dislike those positions. Um, yeah, the engine does not really no, it doesn't give white anything anyway. Yeah, okay, so e5, I go back. Rook e1 made perfect sense to me to get this retreat possibility to c2. So that, that, that feels fine. a3, hmm, no. That didn't occur to me at all. No, I mean, really? So can you get go, has to go here. And now rook c8 or queen a5. Hmm. I'm still scared here. Yeah? Maybe not um, justified. Queen c7, okay, or queen a5. No, then bishop h7, yeah. This is the thing, and all kinds of things happening. What about this? Now he cannot sacrifice? I have this one, yeah? That is super important. Yeah, this. <laughs> it's close. Okay. So rook c3, then, oh, the engine, that's interesting. Here the engine wants to sacrifice the queen. It's very believable that this could work. e5 is hanging. The bishop can be very strong. You double here, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. That, that might work. Seems very, very believable that this works. Rook c1, then g6. I have to be really cold-blooded here. Okay, I took on b3 and played the bishop out. 
to make rook e3 more difficult. I think it's, it's rather logical. Yeah, here I was scared about the sacrifice and played h6. h6 is not a move you're happy to make, but I thought he might be able to sacrifice there. The engine does not agree at first. Maybe maybe I'm wrong there. I felt, okay, king g8 is, is, is just not, uh, maybe it does work actually. I completely forgot that he's got this possibility. So something, something like this. Rook a8, okay, and that is super tough here. Yeah. This move. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, well, you cannot calculate those things yeah, in, in blitz. It's just not possible. King g6 is going to lose. Um, and this one, the engine. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes in the in those sacrifice on h7, you need a little bit of depth because the, 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 the attack sometimes is more of a yeah creeping nature. It's not like mm, 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 made, but there are pieces approaching and you cannot defend it. And now it gets to close to zero here. So it seems to be enough at least him. So the winner is probably this line with king g8, but no, no way of doing that in a blitz game. So I went h6 and this is a big blunder. Why? Ah, ah, nice. This is a nice one. Hmm, okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes my choice really limited. Yeah, that was lucky. H6, I didn't see it. Queen g4, it'd be seven. Yeah, I, th I, it, I seem to be okay there, yeah? If you look at the eval, maybe I'm really not under that much pressure there. Yeah, and rook, rook b1 is probably just bad, right? Yeah, rook a2, and I'm, I'm winning, yeah, it's a win. Not surprised by that, I didn't, I didn't see a move really. Take, take. And yeah, bishop takes, I was a bit afraid of this one. I mean, I can just move the queen as, as the engine suggests, but I think it's probably just easier to do this where you have a queen trade, uh, most likely. And here everything is nicely coordinated. There is no rook a7 or anything. Yeah? So just um, just a full, just a clean win with all the, all the material. It was still lucky, he had this tactic on a6. Thanks for watching.